Unless you live off the grid in an entirely internetless existence, then it's hard to go more than a few minutes without seeing a trailer or ad for one upcoming video game or another. After all, AAA publishers have big marketing bucks to sell their big budget games, so it's not surprising that we players often find our social media feeds saturated with the hottest new titles. Sadly though, this often means we'll never get to hear about all the great indie games out there that generally rely on word of mouth to reach their audiences. Well, enough, says I. I'm sick of hearing about Elden Ring and the latest iteration of Skyrim. I want to see more representation for the little guys. Those that may not have shouted the loudest, but still have lots to offer. For this list, we're spotlighting the titles from the last couple of years that have got lost in all the noise. But that deserve a little more attention nonetheless. Come little games, enjoy your moment in the sun! I'm the seldom celebrated Ashton from Triple Jump, and here are 10 recent video game hidden gems you might have missed. Number 10. Inscription Have you ever played a game of solitaire and thought to yourself, hmm, this is great, but I just wish there was more mortal peril? Then you might just have a fun time with Inscription. The deck building roguelike developed by Daniel Mullins Games and published by Devolver Digital. The game follows vlogger Luke Carter as he attempts to escape from a cabin by playing a card game against a demonic force. The player must choose from an assortment of creature cards that will attack their opponent, and the overall aim is to do enough damage to tip the scales. There's obviously far more to it than that, as one may expect from a game played against a demon, but we don't have all day to explain the rules. Inscription is far from simply being a slightly spooky version of Free Cell though, as the developer has crammed a whole load of different genres into the game, making it quite the unique experience. It's difficult to say too much about Inscription without spoiling it, so forgive us for not sharing all of the plot details. If you're a fan of deck building card games, roguelikes, RPGs, psychological horror or escape room style puzzles though, there's going to be something in there that you'll love. Number 9. Loop Hero We're sticking with Devolver Digital for a moment as we take a look at another one of the games they published in 2021. Loop Hero. Developed by Russian studio Four Quarters, Loop Hero is a strange sort of game where players start out with nothing. To clarify, that's not nothing in a sense of I have no weapons or armour, but rather in the sense that it's very little to the game and players have to build the world as they go. The hero starts out on a looping path, encountering enemies as they potter around. Defeating an enemy causes it to drop a landscape card which can then be used to add new features to the map. Once the hero has completed a circuit around the map, players have the option to to bank the resources they've collected or gamble on making it through another lap without dying. It's basically like the weakest link, only without having to put up with Anne Robinson calling you names if you get a bit too cocky and lose all of your hard earned loot. Loop Hero is an interesting combination of the deck building, roguelike and idol genres, and though we can guarantee it won't be everyone's cup of tea, it's one that fans of any of the aforementioned game types will definitely appreciate. Number 8. Blood Roots not that he ever would, but if Quentin Tarantino were to create a hack and slash video game with a bright colourful animation style of your average Cartoon Network show, then the result would probably be something akin to Blood Roots. The only difference is that Tarantino's version would definitely have Samuel L. Jackson in it, which, incidentally, is one of the only things that Blood Roots doesn't have going for it. Players jump into the shoes of Mr. Wolf and embark on a journey of visceral vengeance as he sets out to find and kill the gang that betrayed him. In order to make it out alive, players will need to fight their way through a whole bunch of different enemies. The twist? Rather than being equipped with a trusty sword or bow and arrows, Mr. Wolf must use what he can find in his surroundings. Some items will be conventional weapons, whereas others will need to be used a bit more creatively. Not all weapons work on all enemies though, and oftentimes Mr. Wolf can be taken down in just one hit. So it's up to players to figure out the best use of the items they have to strategically take down their adversaries. Blood Roots is bright, colourful, violent, and most of all, it's a bloody good time. Pun intended. Number 7. Death's Door if you're a fan of Souls-like games but would have liked them better if you've been able to combine their challenge levels with your love of ornithology, then you might just get a kick out of Death's Door. Developed by Acid Nerve, this 3D isometric adventure sees players taking on the role of a small crow who works as a reaper. 
and it's his job to collect the souls of the dying for an organisation called the Reaping Commission. Crikey, who knew the afterlife would be so bureaucratic? Armed with just a sword and a bow, it's up to the crow to make his way through a number of different dungeons in order to uncover the truth behind the Reaping Commission's dealings. Many critics have likened Death's Door's aesthetic and difficulty to games like Dark Souls, though it is worth noting that the learning curve for Death's Door is a whole lot less punishing, so those looking for a Souls light experience might find a good place to start. The gameplay mechanics have also drawn comparison to the Legend of Zelda series, particularly the earlier top-down games, so anyone familiar with those might find a great deal to love when they're at Death's Door. Number 6. Before Your Eyes Over the years, there have been a lot of different ways to control our favourite titles. From humble joysticks and gamepads to high-tech motion controls and VR systems, we really have seen it all. Or at least, we thought we had. Right up until we stumbled across Goodbye World Games' 2021 title, Before Your Eyes. The game tells the story of Benny, a recently deceased man, as he makes his way up to the afterlife. He's picked up by the ferryman, who explains that he believes there to be something unique about Benny, and if he can prove himself worthy before the gatekeeper, he'll be granted eternal paradise. Rather than controlling Benny by conventional means, however, players are encouraged to interact with the game using only their eyes. Through the use of a webcam, the game is able to track every time the player blinks, which progresses the story. Admittedly, the eye tracking in the game can be a bit wonky at times, but if you can look past that, you'll find a game that is able to weave a compelling and powerful narrative in a unique and innovative way. And that's got to be worth a few quid of anyone's money. Number 5. Grime if you're looking for a recent game that's of the Metroidvania persuasion, but just a dash of Dark Souls thrown into the mix to spice things up a bit, then you could do worse than to have a bash at Grime. Or Grime! If you want to get weird stylization about it. As you might expect from a game that draws heavy inspiration from the Souls series, the plot of Grime is quite vague, and the emphasis is on exploration and discovery as a means to drive the story forward. The game's protagonist is a sort of statue-type creature with a black hole for a head that the NPCs refer to as the Chiseled One. Naturally, as players progress through the game, they'll find out why this is and learn more about the history of the world. Speaking of the world, players will find that this is one of the areas where grime really shines. Every facet of the game has been meticulously thought out and the result is something incredibly dark and grotesque, but it possesses a certain gruesome beauty. Grime doesn't necessarily bring much new to the table in terms of its gameplay, but what it does do is all executed incredibly well. The controls are tight, the combat is balanced but challenging, and the exploration is highly rewarding. Number 4. The Artful Escape on a cursory glance, the artful escape might seem like little more than a load of hipster tosh. It weaves the tale of Francis Vendetti, a sad musician living in a shadow of his folk legend uncle, desperate to make a name for himself as a rock star. Pretty cliché, right? Well, we beg you to keep an open mind though, as the artful escape is a beautiful and compelling piece of art that really needs to be experienced firsthand to be fully appreciated. Let's get the criticism out of the way first, shall we? Though a number of outlets have referred to the artful escape as a platformer, it's really nothing of the sort. In fact, several publications called out the artful escape for its lack of actual gameplay, which is fair if you're expecting something that's all action. As we've seen with titles like Gone Home and What Remains of Edith Finch though, just because you're not constantly swinging a sword, it doesn't necessarily mean you're a bad game. If you go into the artful escape with the right expectations, you'll find yourself enjoying a title with stunning visuals, a great soundtrack, and fantastic voice performances from the likes of Michael Johnston, Lena Headey, and Carl Weathers. Number 3. Chicory – A Colourful Tale in the past few years, there have been a number of video games whose sole purpose it is to bring little cheer to the world. Forget your Animal Crossings, your Stardew Valleys and your Katamari Damacies though, because there's a new source of wholesome in town, baby! Chicory, A Colourful Tale is a top-down puzzler which follows the adventures of a small anthropomorphic dog that players get to name after their favourite food. At the beginning of the game, the world is filled with colours thanks to the artist Chicory, but when she vanishes, however, all of the colour is lost, and it's all up to the dog, who from here on out we shall call Sushi, to restore it through the use of a magical paintbrush. 
Not only does the magical paintbrush liven up the place a bit, but Sushi can also use it to solve environmental puzzles found throughout the game. Chicory A Colourful Tale is not simply a video game colouring book though, and beyond the cutesy artwork is a title that doesn't shy away from topics such as grief and sexuality. It's not a depressing game by any means, but is rather one that those who have struggled with themselves will find easy to identify with. Number 2 The Last Campfire We've all had times in our lives where we felt a bit lost and without purpose, and how nice it would have been to have a creature like The Last Campfire's Ember to set us back on the right path. From the creators of No Man's Sky comes The Last Campfire, a lovely little puzzler released in 2020. Players assume the control of protagonist Ember, who is on a quest to find you've guessed it, the last campfire. On his way he comes across lost souls in need of salvation, and by solving puzzles, Ember is able to rescue them. The core gameplay mechanics are elegantly simple. Ember can walk, run, and pick up, pull, or push objects. You might think that with such a limited range, the game would become repetitive. However, thanks to varied puzzles throughout, this couldn't be further from the truth. On the subject of the puzzles, although those towards the beginning of the game are fairly straightforward, as the last campfire goes on, players will find themselves decently challenged, though never in a way that feels unfair or unsurmountable. In short, if you're looking for a beautiful fairy tale like game with brain teasers that will have those synapses firing on all cylinders, then you could do far worse than the last campfire. And number one, The Forgotten City. When you think of time loop games released in 2021, your mind probably goes straight to Deathloop on account of the fact that it was splashed everywhere. Deathloop was not the only time loop game released in 2021, however, nor was it, in our writer's opinion at least, the best. That overly specific accolade goes to modern storytellers The Forgotten City, a game full to the brim with murder, intrigue, and vengeful gods. The premise of The Forgotten City is thus, you, the player, are a faceless 21st century dwelling everyman, or every woman, that stumbles into a time portal and ends up in an inescapable Roman city some 2,000 years in the past. Upon your arrival, you are advised that all citizens are beholden to the Golden Rule. No, not that one. Which decrees that if you commit any sin, the whole city will be held accountable. Naturally, it's up to the player to use the time loop to their advantage in order to resolve the city's various problems. Trying to figure out what constitutes a sin not only gets those synapses firing, but it also raises questions about the very definition of right and wrong. So in addition to a fun, spooky puzzle adventure, players also get to engage in a spot of philosophy too.